Now enter your operations. Cut the cards apart. Then match each problem with the solution and number line representation. What do you mean by number line representation, Miss Darling? Well, if we were to start at zero for this negative nine, how would we get to negative nine if we're starting at zero? Go to the left, how many spaces? Nine. nine. And then if I want to add six, then from that negative nine, what will I do? Go to the right, how many spaces? Six. Six, okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. So let's draw a number line here. It doesn't matter what yours looks like because it's going to get glued over anyway. And if I were you, I would start with my zero way over here to the right. Negative one, negative three, stay focused. I'm putting my odd numbers there. So, like we said, we would go to the left nine spaces, draw an arrow from zero to the negative nine, just like so. Pardon? Oh, that's okay. If you want to use your ID as a straight edge, that's fine. Or you can kind of guesstimate what your straight line will look like. Okay, now you're going to go to the right. How many spaces? Six. So starting at the nine, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Where do I end up? At negative three. There's my answer. So I'm going to draw my line going back to the negative three. And that's where I should stop. The number line that you choose from here, from your cutout, will get glued here. And then the negative three will get glued here. Now I know this, these don't represent what we just drew, but that's what you're supposed to do when you work these out. Overdrawn means that you've taken too much out of your bank account. And if you have $10 in your bank account and you try and take out 20, are you gonna stay in the positive or are you gonna go to negative? You're gonna go to negative. So the water level was negative four feet before rainy season. Listen, listen. After rainy season, the water level was four feet. By how much did the water level change? So, let's draw a number line. And I need to start at negative four and I need to end where? Positive four. So let's draw a number line, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. How do I get from negative four all the way to positive four? I added eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So by how much did it change? It changed by what kind of eight, a positive or a negative? It changed by a positive eight. Here, overdrawn by $5 means negative five. Then a $5 fee is charged. That means I have to take away five more dollars. How do I represent taking away five more dollars? A negative what? A negative five. And in order to solve this, don't forget to keep change change. I need y'all to stay focused because you're going to have to do this on your own on Friday. And then I need to draw a number line that represents that. I highly advise you to draw the number line first before gluing it down. The next one says negative 8 minus negative 3. You need to write negative 8. And then I have to do what? Say it again. 
heat change change. So this is going to be plus and plus. Remember, do I need to put a positive sign in front of a positive number? No. No, so I can just put negative eight plus three. Same signs add, different signs subtract, and keep the greater absolute value, or keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. Draw your number line. I would go negative eight first, then positive three. During a football game, the team lost six yards. What kind of number is that six going to be? Negative six first, and then another three yards. Then what? What kind of three again? Another negative number. How many yards behind the line of scrimmage are they? The line of scrimmage is zero. Okay, let's just assume that is zero. So we start at zero, then we go negative six, and then we go negative three more. And then your answers go over here in these solution boxes. Can I move on or do I need to pause? So you can write this down. Pausing. All right, so just to continue the rest of them, I've got a negative five plus a negative two. So on my number line, I need to go to the left negative. So negative five first, then negative two. So you're gonna go further to the left. Remember, negative is left on the number line. And positive is right on a number line. Those are the directions that you move, and those are actually where the numbers are placed. The positive numbers are placed on the right side of the zero on a number line, and the negative numbers are placed on the left side of the zero. Your solution will come over here. Over here, don't forget to keep change, change. I'm not going to write this one out because I want to see y'all doing that on your own because I saw that some of you were skipping this step and you were getting this wrong, so you need to pay close attention to it. Keep the first term, change this and change that, and then write out what you're going to have. So first you're going to have negative 4. Then you tell me what goes here. Down here, an elevator traveled up eight floors. Up means positive. And then down to the second floor. Down to the second. Not down to, but down to the second. So how many floors did the elevator travel down? So if I start at eight, how do I end up? Here I'm starting at 5 plus negative 7. So you're going to go to the right, 5, then left, 7. A scuba diver is practicing in a marked pool. He begins 3 feet below the surface. 3 feet below means something of the water, and then dives down to the 9 foot mark. down to the nine foot marker. How far did he dive? So we start at three. Below. And at nine below. Pay close attention to those. And then you can write your own. All right, that's how you complete this assignment. So look, let me know if you have any questions. Your name date period should be here. And this is due Tuesday, September. Tuesday, September 15th for D-Day. And Monday, 
September 14th for AA. All right, have a great afternoon.